former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been unlawfully incarcerated for 287 days, spoke with members of the media on Friday at Adeyala Jail. He laughed about the reaction of the regime at the leaking of his picture from his virtual presence at the Supreme Court, saying that, quote, they're so terrified of one man that they're even scared to show his one picture, unquote. Mr. Khan reiterated that the basis of democracy lies in ethics and that the way democracy is being enforced in Pakistan is a mockery. He told his reporters that his wife, the former First Lady, Mrs. Busha Khan, was sentenced twice within five days and that he will file references against both the judges responsible for this breach of justice and the law. Speaking of his party's petitions from May 9th and February 8th still not being heard, Imran Khan said that their trials should also be like those of Nawaz Sharif, Asif Ali Zardari, and Yusuf Raza Gilani, referring to the judiciary and the establishment enabling the three political figures. Imran Khan said that the injustice being carried out in Pakistan has eroded public trust in the legal system, with the country being divided into those who benefited from Form 47 attacking anyone questioning them, while those under Form 45 suffer oppression and fraud. Mr. Khan said that the current system is built on lies to protect falsehoods. The founder chairman of Pakistan, Tehreek e Insaf, Imran Khan, questioned the farce of democracy in Pakistan that allows all parties to hold rallies except PTI, registering false cases against the party when seeking permissions. The military backed regime continues to crack down on PTI rallies, arresting, beating, and ransacking workers' homes, while hundreds remain imprisoned on frivolous charges since months. In a continuation of Imran Khan's political victimization and in a bid to keep him entrapped into defending himself in meaningless lawsuits, a case that's already been decided by the Islamabad High Court is being scheduled again. The Islamabad High Court has fixed the Tyrian case for hearing on May 21st, 2024, after it was last heard on March 30th, 2023. The bench headed by Chief Justice Amr Farooq had reserved the verdict on March 30th last year. A new bench consisting of Justice Tariq Mahmoud Jahangiri, Justice Arbab Muhammad Tahir, and Justice Justice Saman Rifat Imtiaz has been formed. Never before in the history of Pakistan's judicial system has the law been made such a mockery of to target and harass one person. Pakistan Tehreek and Saf's court committee met on Friday, following which a press release was issued stating that the meeting condemned the arrests and false cases against PTI workers, as well as the extrajudicial actions and fake cases against the party. PTI demands the release of detainees and an end to false cases. The party strongly condemns the actions of the state to suppress PTI. The court committee stated that they discussed legal and media strategies to counteract these actions of the state. They stressed the urgent need to follow judicial orders for the release of detainees. The party stressed heavily on transparency and media freedom. Extremely disturbing reports from Kyrgyzstan on late Friday night and early hours of Saturday morning, where thousands of Pakistani students, both male and female, have been under attack, with reports of extreme violence and even several deaths. Distressed messages were sent by Pakistani students in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, fearing for their lives. There are reports of locals attacking Pakistanis, including sexual assault on females, as law enforcement officials look on. While there was a post on the social media platform X by the Pakistani Pakistani ambassador in Kyrgyzstan advising students to stay indoors. Students reported that their frantic calls to the embassy remained unanswered.